after one shower, this brand new geyser unit uh, stopped working. We uh, kept both the uh, pump too hot light and the below 100 degree uh, temperature light, and uh, yeah, the pump's not going to run with that pump too hot light. So uh, I got a hold of support at uh, Geyser Systems, and uh, they were kind of kind enough to give me instructions how to open it up and bypass the uh, the sensors. So uh, we're going to take it apart and see if we can get this done and get it working. Because we both need showers. So let's get the camera set up a little closer so you can get a look. And hopefully we can share this and, and uh, be of some help for somebody else out there that has the same issue. Okay, so for those of you who aren't familiar with the geyser shower system, uh, these lights up here the, uh, I call it a pump too hot, but it's actually pump off too hot. That means the water is too hot and the pump won't run to prevent you from scalding yourself. And then the next light is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, which is where you want it. And then the next light is below 100 degrees Fahrenheit. And what I had was uh, both the below and the too hot, which can't be possible. So something was obviously wrong. And then you have a heating water. This is a heating unit. The, there's another unit that does not heat uh, the water itself. And uh, the next light is a lid secured light. And then the next light is a low water when blinking light. And then you have a power on light. And then on the switch here, you have the cover with the heat switch, pump off, and pump on. And then this is your outlet for the hose. So what they told me is you have to move this, remove this cover. We got three Phillips screws holding it in place. And then uh, they said to watch out for uh, a little hose in there. That uh, see where that is, see how that is routed. So when you put it back together, you don't kink it. And then uh, what we need to look for is four white wires uh, that are connected to the circuit board that uh, say uh, thermal uh, at the position it says thermal and uh, we either need to disconnect that to disable both uh, sensors or snip the two uh, white wires that have black marks on them uh, to disable the too hot sensor uh, which is what I'm going to do today hopefully and uh, after doing that, the heater will not shut off when it gets up the temp. So I'll have to uh, monitor that myself and make sure we're not um, burning ourselves, which I'm okay with as long as we can get a shower. So let's take this thing apart. These screws are supposedly into plastic. So you don't want to tighten them too much when you put it back together. Uh, so we're not stripping them. They'll strip easily. Okay, we got all three screws off. Now comes the exciting part. We're going to try and lift this thing off and see what's inside here. Okay, let's see the little holes they're talking about. Oh, 
Yeah, that's no problem. All right. Well, it looks like there's only four, one connection with four light wires, and that's the one right there. Hope you can see that. And there's two. Shucks, with black markings. This looks like. Oh, yeah, it is. And two right ones. We got a snip. We could take all this this whole thing off the board and disable all both of them, but I just wanted to disable the two, so I feel like I'm I feel like I'm disabling a bomb here, you know. This is kind of exciting. Don't snip the wrong wire, Todd. Okay, I think I can just put this back together like that and call it good. That is super simple. And let's we'll see how you kink, if you kink that hose. Especially if you only lift it up a little ways. So screws back in. Cannot drop these because there's cracks in the mud here. Might disappear in a crack. All right, so we got the, uh, the unit back together. We got those two wires snipped. Unit, got the unit back together. We got power here. We're gonna connect it up and see what happens. Should work. And yeah, we got uh, power on light. We got the below 100 degree Fahrenheit light because there's cold water in here. And no pump off too hot light. So it should work. Let's check it out. Oh, turn the pump on. Yep. It's working. Yay! No problema. We got a shower now. I'm happy. So I hope you like this video. I hope it's helpful to somebody out there someday. And uh, thanks to uh, Geyser System Support for giving us the instructions on how to do this. And uh, yeah, it saved our day. I'm happy. We'll get this exchanged uh, someday, but for now it's good. Anyway, if you like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, that helps. And, uh, or give it a like button, I mean. And, um, uh, most of all, have a great day. Thanks for watching.